All right, Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yashallah. And salutations and blessings to you. I came out there enduring this truth across the four corners of the earth in sincerity. Looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America, by way of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's prophecies. Um. Real quick lesson, very quick lesson, um, situation that I had the other day. And uh, so I'm not going to say any names or anything, but someone came up to me and they said, you know, so-and-so asked about you again. I'm like, well, what do you mean again? It was like, well, you remember when they was asking you what your beliefs and what your faith is and this and that, you know, and then... Uh, well, actually, they didn't ask me. They asked the person who had came up to me. And then it was like, because uh, they heard. <laughs> so basically, I, I don't know how recent the conversation was, but their conversation was rather. Um, but it was said basically like, hey, don't such and such hang around with these guys. Because I believe at that time on the news, it must have been late December, you know, when they was doing out an anti-Semitic slander against the quote-unquote black Hebrew Israelites. You know, so they basically was like, hey, don't such and such hang with these guys. And they was talking about me, you know, and um, and they seen me out there on the highways before and they like, well, who them, who, who them guys he be with, you know, like, <laughs> and it. The, the way they telling the story, I can I can see how it could, you know, turn out like that. Like, these are just guys that I'm with. Like, no. Honestly, through you, how about Shimmy, I was shy. This is like my family, you know, like this, this thing of ours, you know, as Apostle Gabar says, Elder Apostle Gabar says, this thing of ours is, is, it's just, it's on another level, man. Okay. The fact that we got, you have brothers visiting brothers from all over the world, man. <laughs> all over the world. Brothers leave the states and go to other countries or vice versa, you know. Brothers leave they state and go to another state. They city, go to another city. And here it is. We never met these people in uh, in person. But the spirit is is what allow us to be on one accord man okay that's why the scriptures speak about uh speaking the same things you know because as, as, as long as you have that that alone is is a is a foundation to build off of okay now once you go into differences on in the doctrines i would say then that's when things become a problem and you get, you know, and I'm not speaking about, you know, GMS alone, just speaking about different camps in general. All right. But, um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's the way, and, and the whole time they're explaining this to me, I can just laugh because it's the media. The media has a real important part to play in that. The fact that they can sit there for about eight, nine days all of a sudden, all these anti-Semitic attacks is happening, and they just disappear. You know, they just all these things happening, and they disappear. But it's the fact it, it's 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 embedded in people at this moment. You know, it's embedded in people because they was like, "Well, he's on a terrorist list," and you know, well they they didn't say me per se. They was just like. They put them on the terrorist list, the black Hebrew Israelites on the terrorist list, which we don't consider ourselves black Hebrew Israelites. All right. And they was like, well, just be careful because you might end up on the terrorist list, too. And, and you know, I can understand they care for that. But, you know, that as this scripture says, um, you know, Second Peter 2 and 12, but these is natural uh, brute beasts. OK, when you go into that word brute, it means unreasoning. All right. Or unreasonable. OK. Now, at the end of the day, you know, destitute of reason, contrary to reason, absurd. All right. So 
yes, the the Lord does control everything and everybody. He 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 works with duality, light and dark, tall, short, skinny, fat, uh, darkness and light. You know that's how the Lord operates. Okay, so even within this ministry, all right, we have people who, or with the, with the truth, I would say, you have people who are gonna get it and you have people who are not gonna get it. Okay. But it says, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. You know, not saying that, oh, yeah, they're going to be put to death, this and that. Just speaking on the fact that the media can bring something out. The media controls people. Yes, we know this. And it's just like, I've known this. It's just, it was really on my spirit. You know, it was really, really on my spirit. And it just goes to show you when they, when they start cracking down for real, for real. Okay. It's going to be, uh, the people are going to see, see it as, as justified, you know? Oh, but Hey, it's supposed to happen, man. It happened before. All right. They, they wasn't justified in, in, uh, what they did to the Lord. Okay. They wasn't uh, justified in, um, in what what happened unto Paul, okay? For the most part, you know, blaming him of things and slandering him. But it's all a part of the game, man, okay? When it comes down to it, it's all a part of the game. They use that as a weapon. They use that as, as bait on people, especially the fact that they bring this image of we're all love and humanity this and will penalize you for hate crimes and so on and so forth, you know, because I was thinking that the other day, I was thinking of the Scarface movie. He said, you need people like me so you can point your finger and say, that's the bad guy. But what does that make you good? No, you're not good. You just know how to hide and how to lie. You know, that that's what it is. He said, me, I don't have that problem. All right. And that's the thing. We... Through your how about Shimmy was shy, we are honest. Okay. We're working on being perfect. All right. We're not afraid of the truth, man. And that's why he allowed us to preach this truth and put this truth, uh, this truth out there, man, through his power and his grace and his mercy and his love. Okay. And it's crazy because the, the the whole time I don't know I kind of I, I use that loosely I don't really mean it's crazy but you know it, it's just you know I can't find a, another word for it at the moment but it, it it's it's shocking <laughs> just that you know the media can't actually do that you know and once you become a victim of it it's just it's just a different level you know it, it it's of course it's just different when it hits home in a sense. You know, but it was also beautiful because the whole time all I can do is laugh, you know, and, and in my mind, I'm like, Shh, I don't uh, Hey, you get to a point where you just it is what it is with people. You you got to it's part of the game. OK, you're just going to be slandered. You're going to be looked at crazy, you know, whatever, whatever. Y'all push it. But uh, let me get this this scripture as well. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him. And part of the love is, of course, keeping the commandments. Part of the commandments is losing your life to find your life. All right? But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the spirit searcheth out all things, yea, the deep of things of the most high. And that's why people can't understand it, because they don't have the spirit to search out the depths of things. It's like when you watch some of the movies and they looking down in the cave. Yeah, they can shine a light down in the cave, but they can't see the bottom of it. You know, you got to actually go down there with the light and see what's at the bottom of it. All right. And that's they don't have. Uh, they don't have the light to search out the depths of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of which of, of the spirit of man, which is in him. Even so, the things of the most high knoweth no man, but the spirit of the most high. 
That's why they can't understand. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the most high, that we might that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high. This is a point which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And that's why they can't understand why we out there when it's hot as shit. They can't understand when we out there when it's brick cold or when it's raining or snowing or, you know, whatever. Uh, but it's it's the spirit that the Lord gave us, man. It's the love that we have for him. It's the commandment that was given unto us. It is it, it it says be instant in season and not a season, man. Once you go into those words of uh, the seasons, in season and out of season, it, it breaks down to good weather and bad weather. All right. Clearly, like, of course, you're not about to be out there with Tornado Eddie spinning behind you. All right. Or Hurricane Chris over a hundred yards away. No, but the Lord will provide you for what you need to be out in, in certain type of weather, man. Okay. But going back to the point, people just don't understand, you know, but it's not meant for everybody to understand. And at the end of the day, it's, it's all, it's many of things that's going to try to pull us out of this uh, uh, thing of ours that's going to try to shake your faith, that's going to just try to, you know, that, that's Satan's job, man. It's for you, for you to give up, okay? But at the end of the day, whatever comes your way, you have to trust in your how about your shy because nobody's ever been confounded that put their trust in him, all right? Hey, but with that, I want to give all praises unto your how about your shy by Hashem Rakhar Kodash. Double honors to the possible elders of Great Millstone and blessings to the elect and blessings and salutation to you. I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth in sincerity, as well as you women and children that follow. Shalom.